Good morning. My name is Father Thomas Moe Crone, the IAFF chaplain and the chaplain for the IAFF Fallen Firefighter Memorial. It is indeed my pleasure to once again serve as your master of ceremonies. We are gathered today in this sacred place to honor the memory of those IAFF members who have given their lives in the line of duty. We are joined today by IAFF General President Harold Schaepberger, General Secretary Treasurer Ed Kelly, the entire IAFF Executive Board, and numerous distinguished friends and guests. We are also joined by more than 1,000 members of our IAFF Honor Guard, of which 355 make up the IAFF Pipes and Drums, and we're also joined by the Colorado Springs Chorale. On their behalf, I welcome you, the families and friends of our fallen, and the thousands of fellow firefighters who have made the pilgrimage to this memorial in Colorado Springs to pay their respects to their brothers and sisters. This is the only monument that collectively honors professional union firefighters and emergency medical personnel from the United States and Canada who have lost their lives in the line of duty. This memorial was founded in 1986 by IAFF Convention Action. The centerpiece of this memorial, a sculpture of a firefighter descending a ladder while cradling an infant in one arm, entitled Somewhere Every Day, arrived in 1987. And the first granite walls displaying the etched names of our fallen were erected in 1989. In January of 2015, supported by a unanimous vote of the delegates at the 2014 IAFF convention, the memorial was temporarily decommissioned to allow for the rebuilding process to begin. Over the eight months that followed, union construction crews and stonemasons carefully deconstructed the memorial, incorporated the precious stone from those original hallowed walls into our new family ring that now serves as a pathway for our families to follow as they remember their loved ones. The talented hands of the workers who labored on our members' behalf sculpted these new granite walls that now rise to the memory of those we've lost. They engraved their names and placed our, these strong bronze guardians to stand silently watching over our fallen every hour of every day. Now, please rise as the IAFF Honor Guard presents the colors. Once the colors are posted, remain standing as the Colorado Springs Chorale sings the national anthems of Canada and the United States.
All uniform personnel, present who? Uniform personnel, present out. Before we place ourselves in God's presence, let us pause to remember the people of Texas and Florida who have been devastated by the recent floods caused by Hurricanes Harvey and Irma, and all those of the Western United States and Western Canada who have suffered through recent wildland fires. And of course, we remember our brothers and sisters who reported to and stood on the front lines in spite of their own tragic losses. For all those who lost loved ones, possessions, and property, let us pause in silence. Gracious God, we give you thanks for this day and for the chance to be together honoring our fallen heroes. We thank you for this blessed place 
sacred and hallowed ground for our IAFF family. Today, we remember and honor the 190 men and women whose dedicated lives were spent in your service. Lord, you gave them to us to grow in wisdom, age, and grace, and now you have called them safely home. Their years of dedicated service and their supreme sacrifice are not now and will never be forgotten. Here at this proud memorial, memorial their names will live on as their memories will in our hearts. Lord, bless their families with faith in their moments of doubt, with hope in their times of despair, and with the love that binds us together and joins us more closely to you. We give thanks, Lord, for the many brothers and sisters from all over the United States and Canada who have come to stand in solidarity with these honored families. This weekend, this testimony to the great bonds forged by the family of the fire service. We are grateful too for the wonderful blessings of hospitality shown to us by Colorado Springs Local Number 5, the Colorado Springs Fire Department, and the City of Colorado Springs. Continue to sustain them in the wonderful and holy work that they do. Watch over and bless, Lord, those who have reported to duty in firehouses across this great land. Protect them with your guiding hand. And in a special way, watch over and keep safe the members of our armed forces who serve to protect the freedoms we so cherish. May we never forget all of our fallen heroes. God bless this great union, and God bless our two great nations. Please be seated. First colors, prepare to withdraw. Ladies and gentlemen, in the tradition of our union and the fire service, IAFF General President Harold Schaefberger and General Secretary Treasurer Ed Kelly will now honor our brothers and sisters by the placing of the memorial wreath.
This memorial belongs to the entire membership of the IAFF, but it rests here in beautiful Colorado Springs. We are most grateful for the strong support we have received from our local, local number five, from the Colorado Springs Fire Department and the city of Colorado Springs and its citizens to make this tribute so special. I now present President of the Colorado Springs City Council, Mr. Richard Scorman. Welcome, everybody. I uh, would like to express the regret of our mayor who couldn't make it today. He had to be out of town, but as the president of the city council of Colorado Springs, we are honored to have you here today. Welcome all of you to our great city. There's a few things you may not know about Colorado Springs. I've been here 47 years. Um, we have gotten the award for being the city with the thinnest population, the least number of body weight people. We have gotten the award for being the best city to mountain bike in the country. We have gotten the award for being the worst dressed city in the United States. Uh, so many of us here wear hiking boots, blue jeans, and uh, army fatigues. We just aren't setting fashion trends. But one of the things that we uh, are uh, distinguished for uh, in a good and a positive and in a negative way is our huge wildland urban interface, our WUI. And uh, we happen to be one of the biggest cities with the most population living in or near the wildland urban interface. And uh, unfortunately, in 2012, in 2013, we had two horrible fires here. Uh, we lost 1,000 homes. We uh, lost four people. And it means that uh, we have one of the best fire departments, and I think, in the country that deals with wildland fires. We are, we are very proud of them, but also what happened to our community is that we had firefighters come from all over the country to help us. Just as people are helping the victims of Hurricane Irma and Ver Hurricane Harvey today, and all the wildfires in Western United States and Western Canada, I am certain that we would have had many more casualties and much more destruction if we didn't have the help of all the people that came to, to our aid. I wanted to thank the people that are here that happened to be a part of that. I think you saved our city. And I can't tell you how grateful we are as a community for what you, you have done and what people are doing around the country today. Boy, it's true public service. I was just talking to your president. He said he just came back from uh, uh, Florida and Texas, and he said people were down there doing unbelievably brave, fearless, and courageous things to help their, for, their fellow Americans. So we as a, as a city are greatly honored to have the, the ability to have this event for you and for us is we have people on that wall as well. And I can't tell you what it means to us that you come here to grieve and to honor the people that you love the most in your life. Thank you for bestowing that on us, Colorado Springs. And you are always welcome in our community. Our arms are gonna be around you. And we, we so much appreciate what you and your loved ones have done for all of us. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Scorman. This beautiful city and its citizens are protected by the members of Colorado, Colorado Springs 
Professional Firefighters, IAFF Local 5. Our brothers and sisters here are the caretakers, 365 days a year of this memorial. Local 5 is one of the original 18 locals that founded the IAFF on February 28, 1918. I now invite IAFF Local 5 President Dave Noblet to provide greetings. Dave? It is with great pride and a humble heart that I welcome you here today to honor those who have given their ultimate sacrifice. I would like to thank General President Schaeberger, General Secretary Treasurer Kelly, and the members of the IAFF Executive Board and staff for their support. I would also like to thank the City of Colorado Springs, the Council Representatives present, and our Fire Chief, Police Chief, and their command staff and personnel for supporting this event. I want to thank the commitments from our Honor Guard and their commanders, the Colorado Springs Corral, and the many volunteers who have made this day as special as it deserves to be. To the families of those who we are here to honor today, welcome. As we often think of the tragedy that brought about the ultimate loss of a member of our fire family, it is off thought of something that happens on the job, not from the job. May we hold true that both have impact on those left behind with difficulty and sadness. As our brothers and sisters have served their communities, their neighbors, and their family, their loss to you and to us is always heartfelt and difficult. To those who lost a loved one suddenly, may that impact be tempered today in our remembrance and our honor to them that this may bring some form of comfort. In those instances when those loved ones have been or have succumbed to what the job has done to them, you, their family, have stood by their side, becoming their hero as you face the ongoing challenges of serving the ones who once served. To those who stayed by their side, thank you. To those who never gave up hope, may you be blessed. I hope that your strength in standing with your loved one and continuing after they have gone, builds within you and all of us the ability to persevere and to carry on. It is the commitment of Local 5, honored to stand to watch guard of this sacred monument to those who have given all that they have for others. We give you our promise that as long as these granite stone remain with these names etched upon them for our remembrance and our honoring, we will stand guard throughout and to the end to watch over, to protect this place of honor. Thank you.
Thank you to the Colorado Springs Chorale for your uplifting music. We will now honor IAFF members who have died in the line of duty between 1976 and December 31st, 2016. The names of our fallen will be read by Honor Guard members from IAFF affiliates across the United States and Canada. After each name is read, a bell will sound and teams of flag bearers will render a flag salute with the colors lowered for each name as it is spoken. An IAFF Honor Guard member will then present the family the flag of the International Association of Firefighters. In order to assist us with the presentations, we ask only one representative from each family to stand when your loved one's name is called, and that you remain standing until the flag presenter reaches your seat. At that point, all members of the family that wish should stand and jointly receive the IAFF memorial flag. Following the presentation of the last flag, the IAF Honor Guard will toll the bell and play taps. I now invite our honor guard to begin reading the names of our fallen. We will now present the 80 names of those line of duty deaths from 1976 through 2015 that were reported to us during this past year. These members died from occupational diseases that were recognized by their fire department, their local and their state or provincial government as occurring in the line of duty. Milton H. Lowry, Local 288, Hamilton, Ontario. Howard A. Braden, Local 1286, Richmond, British Columbia. Lucien E. Moranger, Local 162, Ottawa, Ontario. Michael M. Winklefuss, Local 1120, Bucyrus, Ohio. Patrick L. Carpenter, Local 2881, Sacramento, California. Donald G. Kennedy, Local 255, Calgary, Alberta. John B. Santos, Local 841, New Bedford, Massachusetts. Harry Beatstra, Local 1286, Richmond, British Columbia. J. Craig Coswell, Local 341, Houston, Texas. Lawrence Sam Laviger, Local 2194, Southbridge, Massachusetts. Edgar Wilson, Local 481, Welland, Ontario. Renee E. Arbor, Local 162, Ottawa, Ontario. Thomas L. Peterson, Local 935, San Bernardino County, California. Leon Pappy Self, 
Local 341, Houston, Texas. Doyce E. Wedgworth, Local 341, Houston, Texas. Reginald T. LaRouche, Local 193, Thunder Bay, Ontario. Samuel R. Morgan, Local 2645, Hendersonville, North Carolina. Walter Churchmack, Local 113, Toronto, Ontario. J. Eric Schmidt, Local 1014, Los Angeles County, California. Clive P. Beresford. Local 492, Sarnia, Ontario. Robert A. Lee, Local 2881, Sacramento, California. Glenn E. Holloman, Local 341, Houston, Texas. Andre R. Renault, Local 162, Ottawa, Ontario. Henry Cusell, Local 2928, Palm Beach County, Florida. Donald G. Cooper, Local 2881, Sacramento, California. Paul C. Wright, Local 341, Houston, Texas. George V. Johnson, Local 341, Houston, Texas. Cruz A. Fernandez, Local 854, New York, New York. Darwin J. Vargas, Local 2881, Sacramento, California. Kenneth R. Judd. Local 341, Houston, Texas. John R. Young, Local 2881, Sacramento, California. Scott S. Winterhalter, Local 341, Houston, Texas.
H. James Walkus, Local 1184, Maple Heights, Ohio. J. Edward Tremblay, Local 162, Ottawa, Ontario. Stephen D. Lohr, Local 27, Seattle, Washington. Ian B. McCammett, Jr., Local 1212, Mississauga, Ontario. Charles J. Zanate, Local 341, Houston, Texas. Michael E. Hutchings, Local 2036, Whitby, Ontario. Sydney E. J. Lowe, Local 2461, Strathcona County, Alberta. David G. Leschuk, Local 2881, Sacramento, California. Timothy J. Flattery, Local 740, Portland, Maine. James W. Cox, Local 411, York, Ontario. James A. Beveridge, Local 492, Sarnia, Ontario. Julian F. Ite, Local 1351, Elliott Lake, Ontario. Jonathan M. Sapp, Local 3393, Cabarrus County, North Carolina. Jess L. Hernandez, Local 27, Seattle, Washington. Daniel J. Carroll, Local 169, Peterborough, Ontario. Edward Brown, Local 1994, Westwood, Massachusetts. Earl Shuptrine, Local 341, Houston, Texas. John H. Warden III, Local 341, Houston, Texas. Michael A. Klein, Local 2036, Whitby, Ontario. Frank Goulet, Local 27, Seattle, Washington. Vincent G. Hart, Local 142, London, Ontario. S. Leonard Spencer, Local 288, Hamilton, Ontario. Donald B. Johnston, Local 467, Guelph, Ontario. R. Kevin McKinney, Local 2917, Jacksonville, Texas. George A. Pierce, Local 3734, Newport Beach, California. Mel M. McKean, Local 803, Brandon, Manitoba. John Nicole, Local 867, Winnipeg, Manitoba. Charles W. Exton, Local 1137, Etobicoke, Ontario. Thomas E. John, Local 1270, Salinas, California. 
Merrill Gosling, Local 1286, Richmond, British Columbia. Larry E. Graft, Local 2881, Sacramento, California. Marcel H. Iampin, Local 209, Edmonton, Alberta. Robert W. Bell, Local 1212, Mississauga, Ontario. Robert F. W. Davenport, Local 497, Belleville, Ontario. Ernie F. Dombrowski, Local 1271, Surrey, British Columbia. Wendy A. Cummings, Local 112, Los Angeles, California. Dennis P. Naljeff, Local 485, St. Catharines, Ontario. Jack Healy, Local 1893, Ashland, Massachusetts. Richard A. Blythe, Local 288, Hamilton, Ontario. James M. Swift, Local 2829, Redmond, Washington. Mark A. Domang, Local 2881, Sacramento, California. William Hunter, Local 18, Vancouver, British Columbia. Barry A. Rizak, Local 2881, Sacramento, California. James E. Green, Local 244, Albuquerque, New Mexico. William F. Parker, Local 752, North York, Ontario. Joshua R. Milton, Local 27, Seattle, Washington. Gerald A. Simpson, Local 209, Edmonton, Alberta. Hilbert H. Coomer, Local 457, Kitchener, Ontario. We will now present the 110 IAFF members who died in the line of duty between January 1st and December 31st, 2016.
Thomas J. Kelly, Local 94, New York, New York. Kenneth K. Harris, Local 95, Oak Park, Illinois. Rudolph V. Valdez, Jr., Local 341, Houston, Texas. George A. Powell, Local 752, North York, Ontario. Scott D. Bruggeman, Local 336, Middletown, Ohio. Marlon D. Cootie, Sr., Local 359, Gary, Indiana. Daryl L. Dave, Local 341, Houston, Texas. Ricky Johnson, Local 36, Washington, District of Columbia. Johnny M. Chun, Sacramento, California. Preston L. Williams II, Local 36, Washington, District of Columbia. Rusty B. Massey, Local 2092, University Park, Texas. Randall M. Donaldson, Jr., Local 3284, Osceola County, Florida. Marsha L. Rosecki, Local 2051, Brookfield, Wisconsin. William C. Hutto, Jr., Local F282, Keyport, Washington. Daryl B. Prosser, Local 112, Los Angeles, California. Richard V. Sandell, Jr., Local 1549, Pompano Beach, Florida. Joseph A. Morstad, Local 94, New York, New York. Ricky C. Dale, Local 3888, Toronto, Ontario. John D. Dowdell, Local 411, York, Ontario. Michael A. Kane, Local 3888, Toronto, Ontario. Robert G. Alford, Local 854, New York, New York. Robert J. Berryman, Local 1053, Fredericton, New Brunswick. Thomas J. Farrell, Local 94, New York, New York. Byron M. Evans, Local 2493, Upper Darby, Pennsylvania. Stephen R. Whitfield II, Local 341, Houston, Texas. David M. Larkin, Local 2665, Professional Firefighters of Eastern Missouri. Jeffrey Q. McGill, Local 660, Charlotte, North Carolina. Michael David Pontius, Local 441, Freeport, Illinois. Seth A. Tinsley, Local 660, Charlotte, North Carolina. 
Tristan I. Smith, Local 27, Seattle, Washington. Willard C. Meeks III, Local 2449, Chesapeake, Virginia. John Skillet Olmschneider, Local 1619, Prince George's County, Maryland. Leonard Art Kruckman, Local 2881, Sacramento, California. Robin L. Pilcher, Local 1696, Salt Lake County, Utah. Ryan A. Ferreira, Local 2464, Walpole, Massachusetts. Danny Vera, Jr., Local 624, San Antonio, Texas. Anthony E. Raven, Local 827, Newburyport, Massachusetts. Mark A. Middlebrooks, Local 1358, Bastrop, Louisiana. Jerry Bunker, Local 1893, Ashland, Massachusetts. Mark P. Kakert, Local 17, Davenport, Iowa. Mark Anzini, Local 4875, Port Jefferson Station, New York. Charles G. Mearns, Local 3888, Toronto, Ontario. Reginald E. Landrio, Local 1212, Mississauga, Ontario. Mark B. Matthews, Local 718, Boston, Massachusetts. William A. Dawson, Local 1212, Mississauga, Ontario. Riley L. Wedgworth III, Local 341, Houston, Texas. Clifford M. Rigsby, Local 1463, Honolulu, Hawaii. Ready? Stephen C. Erb, Local 1071, Rochester, New York. Left. Right. Todd Woodcock, Local 624, San Antonio, Texas. John R. Fritz, Local 3356, Austintown, Ohio. Andrew B. Russell, Local 1737, Harrison Township, Michigan. David A. Lutke, Local 644, Lincoln, Nebraska. Norman J. Rogier, Local 803, Brandon, Manitoba. Joseph D. Fanaco, Local 799, Providence, Rhode Island.
Matthew J. Logsden, Local 526, Lexington, Kentucky. Ricky C. Turner, Sr., Local 440, Fort Worth, Texas. Andrew A. Petri, Local 999, Moncton, New Brunswick. Joseph T. D. Manneris, Local 4350, Claremont, Florida. Christopher E. Hill, Prince George's County, Maryland. Gabriel G. Lee, Local 22, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. James E. Murphy, Chicago, Illinois. Philip J. Hudgens, Local 341, Houston, Texas. Rob S. Taylor, Local 1015, Fremont, Nebraska. Gregorio Morales, Local 94, New York, New York. Gerald J. Lacoste, Local 1212, Mississauga, Ontario. Dennis E. Moore, Local 3888, Toronto, Ontario. Gino D. Amicis, Local 3888, Toronto, Ontario. Hey. Gayton Marcel, Local 284, North Bay, Ontario. Donald Baxter, Local 905, Nanaimo, British Columbia. John J. Fiscaldo Jr., Local 718, Boston, Massachusetts. Stephen M. Kreitz, Local 3888, Toronto, Ontario. William E. Woodland, Local 94, New York, New York. William S. Whitney, Local I-24, Hanford, Washington. Spencer J. Chauvin, Local 4784, St. John Parish, Louisiana. G. G Gil G. Racine, Local 849, Cornwell, Ontario. Peter F. Candler, Local 937, Chelsea, Massachusetts. Donald F. Martin, Federal Local 65, Halifax, Nova Scotia. 
Frederick C. Lewis, Jr., Local 2346, Centerville, Osterville, Massachusetts. Eric C. Gustafson, Local 52, Meridian, Mississippi. Robert D. McGill, Local 209, Edmonton, Alberta. Ronald D. Biller, Local 854, New York, New York. Ryan S. Osler, Local 1364, Ventura County, California. Christopher M. Leach, Local 1590, Wilmington, Delaware. Jerry W. Fickus, Jr., Local 1590, Wilmington, Delaware. Ardith Denise Hope, Local 1590, Wilmington, Delaware. Michael J. Fahey, Local 854, New York, New York. Vincent R. Ungaro, Local 854, New York, New York. Yafet Cotto Miller, Local 1607, North Las Vegas, Nevada. Ross P. Ellison, Local 255, Calgary, Alberta. Barbara A. Beam, Local 660, Charlotte, North Carolina. David R. Dangerfield, Local 2201, Indian River County, Florida. Paul F. Santoro, Local 94, New York, New York. John M. Rodriguez, Local 628, Yonkers, New York. Scott D. Steed, Local 27, Seattle, Washington. Dennis Tabokhorst, Local 4449, Maple Ridge, British Columbia. John A. Dunn, Local 94, New York, New York. Scott G. Koikendall, Local 1465, Costa Mesa, California. Patrick Silas Campbell, Federal Local 32, China Lake, Teachapi, California. Michael W. Curry, Local 574, Savannah, Georgia. David M. Lewis, Local 3880, Ripon, California. Tony Stevens, Local 1285, Las Vegas, Nevada. Ron L. Castro, Local 3631, Orange County, California. Harjinder Singh Guman, Local 18, Vancouver, British Columbia. 
Keith David Long, Local 3587, Bedford, Texas. J. Dale McNeil, Local 2928, Palm Beach County, Florida. Joseph P. O'Toole, Local 94, New York, New York. Michael L. Hefner, Local 1301, Kern County, California. John V. Wagenthal, Local 237, Lethbridge, Alberta. Frank E. Martinez, Local 134, Atlanta, Georgia. Bill G. Davies, Local 113, Toronto, Ontario. Everyone, please rise. I am Bruce Brown, your IAFF Honor Guard Commander. The sounding of a bell is a tradition of the fire service. In the past, as firefighters began their tour of duty, it was the bell that signaled the beginning of that day's shift. Throughout the day and night, each alarm sounded by a bell, which some of these brave men and women to fight fires and place their lives on the line for the good of the fellow citizens. When the fire was out and the alarm had come to an end, it was the bell that signaled the completion of that call. When a firefighter died in the line of duty, it was the toll of the solemn bell that announced a comrade's passing. And so, 
to those who have selflessly given their lives for the good of their fellow man. Their task completed, their duties well done, we will again sound their last alarm. They have gone home. All uniform personnel, present on. Order all. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now my honor to introduce this union's leader, General President of the International Association of Firefighters, Harold A. Shakeberger. Please be seated. To all of you gathered here today to honor a loved one, to my 307,000 sisters and brothers, whose commitment to our fallen is what makes it possible for our union to build and maintain this beautiful memorial. To those joining us from Colorado Springs and the surrounding community. On behalf of our General Secretary Treasurer, Ed Kelly, and the members of our IAFF Executive Board, I want to extend a heartfelt thank you 
for once again making this week and this day a remarkable tribute to those that we have lost. I welcome you to our sacred ground where we make this annual pilgrimage and come together amid the beautiful backdrop of Pikes Peak, not to mourn, but to celebrate those who have given their lives in service to their communities and to immortalize their impact on our two great countries. I want to begin today with a fond thank you to Father Mulchrome for your service and dedication to the members of our great union. And although you have recently retired as Chicago's fire department chaplain, after 30 years of service to our members there, we are grateful that you have chosen to continue your duties here in the Springs, ensuring our members are properly recognized for the sacrifices they have made, and their families are provided the comfort they so rightfully deserve. Thank you for all you do, Father Tom. Thank you. I also want to say a special thank you to our home local here, Colorado Springs Local 5, for the extraordinary job they do through this week, every year, and for their commitment to keeping this monument to our fallen, such a beautiful sanctuary through every season of every year. To their president, Dave Noblet, his board, and our local five members and their families, the dedication of your considerable time and energy to care for the families of our fallen while they are here is truly inspiring. And the efforts made every day throughout the year to properly maintain our memorial is beyond extraordinary. So thank you from your 307,000 sisters and brothers for all that you do. Thank you, brother. I'd also like to thank the city for dedicating this beautiful park for the establishment and the home of our memorial and working so closely with us during our reconstruction and renovation of this beautiful and sacred place. And I'd be remiss if I didn't note the struggle and commitment of our tens of thousands of members who were in the past and are still dealing with the devastation of those powerful hurricanes, Harvey and Irma. Having spent time on the ground in Texas and just returning with our General Secretary Treasurer from Florida, we should all be so proud of those within our ranks who stayed on the front line serving their communities even while their families were evacuated and their own homes destroyed. I want you to know this IAFF was there for them before, during, and now after the storms have passed, providing food and water, dry clothes, generators, chainsaws, immediate financial assistance, vaccinations, baseline medicals, behavioral health assessments, and resources to help rebuild their homes. Those recent trips to Texas, Florida, this devastation in Louisiana, and now to this great memorial have only served to reaffirm what I have felt all along, that we are members of a proud, strong, and vibrant family, the IFF family, a union that doesn't back down when things get tough, a union that stands united. And this family of ours, this family of yours, regardless of what is thrown our way, we stand strong arm in arm, willing to do everything it takes to make sure our own are taken care of for as long as it takes. So please keep our members affected by those storms in your prayers. For almost 100 years, a centennial will celebrate this coming February 28th. This IAFF has had more than 7,600 members now etched on these beautiful granite walls that surround us, who made the ultimate sacrifice for the communities they serve. That's a big number. Just saying it makes it sound so impersonal. But to us, it's very personal. What this union has always tried to do is to ensure you, our families, that every single line of duty, death, which is a tragedy to you, is also a tragedy 
and a loss to us. Whether it's a single line of duty death on the fire ground, whether it was a horrific triple line of duty death in Wilmington, Delaware this past year. Those members who kissed their family goodbye before their shift, not knowing it would be the last time they would see their loved ones on this earth, who would arrive at the station on what they knew and felt was the greatest job in the world, only to respond to the tones that make them take them to answer the calls of help from someone, usually a perfect stranger in need. And in that response, experience circumstances that bring us all here today. Whether it's one of those who we lost over time, victims of a profession that can take such a toll, members who remained in the shadows, battling the silent demons of the job, feeling as if they were unable to reach out and get help that they needed, determining that the only acceptable solution was to end their own existence. Or whether it's a member who courageously battled the scourge of cancer, a disease responsible for, on average, 60% of all fire service deaths. A disease taking our members that are healthier than the majority of the general population when they start their career and killing them at a faster rate during their careers. Clearly a result of the toxic soup in which they do their business. Every single one of those we have lost has affected us deeply. And that's why they are now on these beautiful polished walls behind me. Each one of their names tells a story, one of courage, one of a leader in their community who is willing to risk his or her life for another. It tells a story of a father, a mother, a husband, or wife a son or daughter, a brother or sister, aunt or uncle. And today we come together to pay tribute to and honor the service, the dedication, the commitment, and ultimately the sacrifice of the 190 of the bravest who ever served their countries and their citizens. From the roar of the bikes that rolled by us announcing the opening of this service, the hundreds of members of our IFF motorcycle group making their presence and intent to pay their respects known to all of you, the families. To the hundreds wearing their proud tartans that come from all corners of the United States and Canada to unite and form the mighty IAFF pipes and drums. And the hundreds more Honor Guard personnel dressed in their crisp Class A's who have spent years honing their craft. To our flag bearers proudly carrying the flags of the locals and the great union they represent, and those in their dress uniform who are sitting and standing as part of the audience in this service. All of them are here today to ensure our fallen are provided a tribute worthy of their sacrifice, and that you, our families, are given the respect and the recognition you deserve using the rich honor and symbols and tradition of our fire service. Each year we take the time to read each and every name added to the wall, each with their own story to tell, each a life cut short, leaving us far too soon. You receive the folded flags to honor the sacrifice of your loved ones, and you've been given one final salute from one of their comrades in arms. The bells have now been struck, signifying the end of duty for our fallen, and then the playing of taps. And soon we will conclude our remembrance here today, but as this great organization celebrates its centennial and enters its second 100 years, it will forever be our duty to honor the men and women whose names are etched into these sacred walls, a task that sadly will never be complete. All of those representing this IAFF here today promise you, the families of our fallen, that we will continue to rise every day and honor their legacies by finding ways to reduce the numbers of those we lose going forward. 
We'll continue to provide the necessary training to make sure our members go home safely at the end of their shift and to advance the technology and standards we used to make our equipment safer. We'll continue to honor their loss by reducing the stigma that undeservedly comes with post-traumatic stress and associated behavioral health issues by training our members to identify those early warning signs, to reach out and provide assistance to those who are silently crying out for help. And we will continue to strive to give our members another avenue to a solution besides taking their own lives. We'll continue to honor them by taking the steps to reduce exposures to the deadly carcinogens that they are exposed to so often as part of this job. And our work will continue to increase presumptive protections for our members and their families when cancer, heart, lung, and behavioral health issues that are a result of this tough line of work take its toll. Simply put, we will do everything in our power to slow the pace at which we add names to this beautiful sacred memorial, knowing that every name we keep off these walls is another year a member gets to spend in the firehouse and on the rig. Another year of great experiences they get to enjoy with their families. Moments we should all be striving for. That is our commitment to all of you. This union, this great IAFF, will be here for you in the days, weeks, months, and years to come. This is your extended family. We will continue to stand strong for the living, and we will always remember and never forget our fallen. God bless those who have been, been enshrined today. You have answered your final call, and you have served us all well. God bless the families here that have sacrificed more than I can ever imagine. And God bless the members serving every day on the front lines across our two great nations. Thank you.
worst colors. Oh. Three national colors. Ready? Hey. Please, Ed. Huh. Order. Huh. Ready? Face. Prepare to retrieve colors. Ready? Breathe. Three. Left. Face. Left. Face. Vital ones. Forward. Foot. Left. All uniform personnel. Left. 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 Present us. Oh, no. Whenever a member of this union falls in the line of duty, the colors of our two great nations, of this beautiful state, and of our very own IAFF are lowered from full staff to half staff, from time of notification through sunset of the day of that member's funeral. The honor guard will now raise our memorial flags and then solemnly lower them to half staff in memory of your loved ones. At this time, please rise as the IAFF Memorial Honor Guard retires the colors and lowers the memorial flags. Present oh! Order! Please be seated. <clears throat> As we bring this memorial to a close, the IAFF Honor Guard Commander Bruce Brown of Orange County, California, Local 3631, Deputy Commander John Sobey of Ottawa, Ontario, Local 162, Deputy Commander Brent Jones of Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Local 215, and Pipe Major Hunter Chapeau of Houston, Texas, Local 341, will render a final salute to the families of our fallen 
and then retrieve our honor guard. Thank you to the Colorado Springs Chorale for performing today to honor our fallen brothers and sisters and their families. Thank you, the families of our fallen. Thank you for joining us in remembering your loved ones. We hope that this has been a moving and memorable tribute for all of you. We want you to know that this memorial is your memorial. As General President Schaeberger made clear, you are part of our family and are welcome to return anytime. We do hope you will visit us again. Please remain in your seats during the Honor Guard dismissal. Once the last Honor Guard members exit the memorial, please join General President Schaeberger in the field behind your seats as the IAFF Memorial Honor Guard forms its final formation to the music of our IAFF pipes and drums. God bless each of you as you travel home. Major, by your command. <laughs>